Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and today I've got an open collab from City Girl Homestead and I'm going to put the links below along with my recipe. And it's Through the Years is her uh, collab name. And so I want you to think of recipes that you might make through the years that could be if you were not born yet, what would you make in 1920? If you were born in 1970, what would you make in 1970? I'm 62, and I have a vivid remembrance of the 70s. There goes a truck. Anyway, so I picked the 70s. I am going to make, I'm going to give you a list of the things this is called. I've, I did research, and I have found that it has lots of varying times that this was made. Some say the 50s, most say the 70s. I had it in the 70s. Uh, so people call it preacher cookies, cow pies, boiled cookies, unbaked oatmeal cookies, no bakes. Uh, what else? Uh, oh gosh, diddle daddles or something like that. Uh, just just some lots of crazy names for it and I think probably everybody's had this but we don't think about it you know it's a good cookie to make in hot weather because you don't have to fire up your oven you simply boil it for a minute on your stovetop and then you add it to a couple of other ingredients it literally takes you longer to get the ingredients together than to make the cookies so if you've never seen it I hope you'll hang out with me and if you have seen it I hope you'll hang out with me. <laughs> it's good to meet you if I've never met you. And I hope you'll take a look at the rest of my channel. These are my flowers out front. I'm out on the porch. Here's what you'll need. A heavy pan and a good strong spoon. Because when you go to stir this, it's going to get really stiff. You're going to need peanut butter. Now some of the recipes will tell you only use Jif or Skippy. Because if you use an oily... Um, peanut butter, it won't set up right. So, you know, you can have that as you will. I'm sure people have used other brands over the years, especially if it was, you know, a long time ago, like the 50s. Did they even have Jif in the 50s? I don't know. You're going to need quick oats. One minute. Don't use old-fashioned. It won't work. Don't use, you know, like Irish cut steel oats. Don't use instant. You want the quick one-minute oats. You want granulated sugar, whole milk, half stick of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, and, well, I'm telling you the measurements, but I'll put that, you know, in the description as well, of course. And then I use Dutch cocoa powder, but you can use regular cocoa powder, which is what I used for years and years anyway. This recipe always makes me think of slumber parties when I was a kid. This was a cool thing to make, along with peanut butter fudge, of course. First thing you want to do is mix your peanut butter with your quick one-minute oats. Just, I don't mean mix it really, but put it in the same bowl. And it want to be a, a good-sized bowl, you know, because you're going to pour all the other ingredients in it. And this is about right. I don't know how to show you how big it is. Um, you know, I'll set this uh, milk so here's the milk next to it that's how big it is the bowl just in case you've never done it stick the butter into the pan add the cocoa powder add the sugar granulated sugar I should say finally add that milk I used whole milk I think you saw that okay now we're going to the turning it on and stirring it until it boils exactly 60 seconds. Boils means you can't stir it down with a spoon at 60 seconds. Just a little bit of patience and it'll come to a boil. I think I'll yammer while 
I try to bring this up to a boil. I'm going to turn it up just a tiny bit. I don't want to scorch it or anything because it's chocolate. But anyway, um, I hope that if you see anything you like, you'll hear today, you'll go back and look at my uh, my videos from the past and my bio and all that kind of stuff. And if you see anything you like, you'll consider subscribing. I would love to have you as a friend. I'm chatty. I um, My children are grown and I'm here by myself and starting to boil. Anyway, I would love to get to know you and have you get to know me. Oh boy. Timer one. We're at one minute now. I'm going to continue to gently stir because I don't want it to scorch, as I said, but I don't want to kick down a boil either. Now I've poured the um, hot mixture into my peanut butter and oats. Let me bring this light over here so you can see a little bit better. It's actually 9 o'clock at night, almost it's 8.30. Here comes two teaspoons of vanilla. Bubble, bubble, bubble. The alcohol burns off. You know, you hear that. Oh, you can put liquor in there because the alcohol burns off, and that's true. You want to get this stirred up kind of fast because um, it sets up pretty quickly. I'm in the way of the light, but here we go. Okay, it is stirred up good. And now this is my weapon of choice. Um, you can use a dropper like this, a cookie dropper. You can use a kitchen spoon. You can use a serving spoon, whatever you like. Just don't make them too, too big. You're going to want a big space lined with wax paper. In my experience, parchment doesn't work. Foil doesn't work. Um, nothing but wax paper works for me. I saw somebody online was doing it with a silicone pad or sil pad or silicone mat, whatever you call those. I actually have one. I've not used it yet. Anyway, this is what I'm using. Wax, paper, good old-fashioned cheap, and that's all I use it for. Here we go. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 cookies. So, um, you know, the recipe I'm going to give you that I used for this, <laughs> it says you're going to get a skosh more than that. I think it's because I used my great big uh, dropper. But anyway, you can use anything you want and make any any shape you want. And, you know, if you use a teaspoon, you're going to get a whole lot more than if you use a, you know, a cookie ball maker. <laughs> so when these set up, I'm going to show you and crack one open for you. Okay, full disclosure happens to the best of us. It didn't set up. Now... Like I said, I couldn't find, I think I said, I couldn't find my recipe, so I called my daughter, and she took a picture of the recipe on her stove. I mean, she had it, on her, I'm looking at my stove, she had it on her refrigerator with a magnet, <laughs> so I got real lucky that she was home, she was awake. It's already 9.25 p.m., and I didn't wake the eight-year-old and uh, she had the recipe readily available so anyway we're starting over with a different pan and some different measurements and I'm gonna put my recipe at the bottom of this I'm gonna show this first so that you know what you're gonna see first isn't the exact way it went down because this is the exact way it's going down Full disclosure, I used a different recipe because I couldn't find mine, and it didn't set up. And it was obviously not going to set up, and I wasn't going to give it the night to do it. If this sets up, you're going to know it's going to set up within the first 15 minutes. It's going to start to lose its gloss, and it's going to um, start to firm up some. Not all the way, but within 15 minutes, you're going to see some changes. So, here we go again. I'm wanting you to use the recipe that I put at the bottom of this um, in the description. Don't use that first recipe. Here's where it's going to differ. I'm going to put the peanut butter into the hot chocolate and then the oatmeal last. Okay, so the chocolate and the peanut butter and the vanilla are all together. Now I'm going to put in the oatmeal. Mix it up. Put her down.
I can already see a stiffness and a difference. This is awesome. Okay, here we go. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I think, if I got everybody. Oh, my goodness. I've never had this happen before. Well, in years and years and years, I've not had this happen. And usually, when it used to happen, and I know better now, it's because it was raining outside. I believe that the humidity in the air actually affects it. The heavy, and here in Washington, you have to pick your days when it doesn't rain, and thankfully, that's the summertime, mostly. There you have it. Try to break one open and hold the camera at the same time chocolatey wonderfulness they are so good so that's my 1970s vintage through the years collab edition thanks for watching everybody please say hi subscribe give me a thumbs up anything will do take care thanks chris bye